Ever wondered what GM stands for in chess? Well, it's a title of prestige and honor, standing for Grandmaster. This isn't a title handed out like candy. No, it's the highest accolade a chess player can aspire to, a testament to their exceptional skill and mastery of the game. The road to becoming a Grandmaster isn't a walk in the park. It's a journey paved with strategic battles, each one a test of mental endurance and tactical acumen. The World Chess Federation, also known as FIDE, is the gatekeeper of this coveted title, and they've set a series of stringent criteria each aspiring Grandmaster must fulfill. First on the list is achieving a specific rating performance. A player must reach a rating of at least 2,500 at some point in their career. This rating is a measure of a player's skill level relative to other players. It's not just about reaching this number, but consistently maintaining high performance levels. Next comes the earning of norms. These are essentially outstanding tournament performances. Specifically, a player must achieve at least three Grandmaster norms. These norms must be earned in tournaments meeting certain standards. With a mix of players from different countries and a minimum number of other Grandmasters present. And lastly, FIDE requires that a player must have held the title of International Master before they can be considered for the Grandmaster title. This ensures a certain level of experience and proven skill before a player can ascend to the highest rank. Now, let's paint a picture of a Grandmaster in action. Picture Sophia, a seasoned Grandmaster, engaged in a fierce battle of wits with Alex a young and talented aspirant. Despite the raw talent and determination Alex brings to the table, Sophia's vast experience and strategic prowess present a formidable challenge. In the concluding moments of this intense duel, Sophia, with the precision of a master, executes a brilliant series of moves. She sacrifices a piece, a calculated risk, to gain a positional advantage. With this, she maneuvers her remaining pieces to dominate the board ultimately cornering Alex into a checkmate position. As the dust settles, Sophia extends a hand across the board, a gesture of respect acknowledging the young player's valiant efforts. Yet within her, a silent celebration of another victory in her illustrious career as a Grandmaster unfolds. In summary, the title of Grandmaster in chess is a testament to a player's exceptional skill, strategic prowess, and dedication to the game. The path to this title involves achieving a specific rating performance, earning at least three Grandmaster norms in qualifying tournaments, and holding the title of International Master. It's a journey that demands not just talent, but also unwavering determination and a relentless pursuit of mastery.